All right, guys, E3 is in full swing, and Square Enix had their press conference or their E3 announcements last night. I stayed up, I watched them, and I couldn't wait to get home today to make a video. And this morning, Nintendo had their press conference, and I got a lot to cover there, too, so I'm going to have to do two videos. But first, I want to talk about Square Enix and what they got going on. Very excited for all the announcements that they made, which were pretty epic. An awesome E3 so far and honestly it was off to a rough start i didn't think we we're going to get much of anything until square enix took the stage last night and i think they really blew out of the water so first up we got to talk about final fantasy 7 the remake it's looking really great so now we got some information about the battle system i can only assume that we all kind of felt like they were going to go more for an action type battle experience and that is true however Thankfully, they did add what they're calling their tactile option, which works. It reminds me a lot of the system in the newer Fallout games, where the VAT system, right? So basically, from what I understand, you build up a meter from doing attacks and, and blocking and all, you know, fighting. And then you can open up a menu and then you can start doing your special attacks and things like that. You can also map your favorite attacks, the things you want to do a lot, to like a macro onto certain buttons so that you can do them quicker or you can just access the menu and go through those and pick what you want to do limit breaks magic healing whatever you need so it's a good i feel like it's a good balance between being a full-on action game and and still giving credence and still giving some respect to the original turn-based battle system and it looks excellent of course square enix always has some of the best graphics so definitely on full display here everything looks legit we got to see tifa she's looking really good everything's looking on point the voice acting sounds really great everything is coming together well for this game and i'm super excited about it it's definitely a game i've been looking forward to and will play now at the same time final fantasy 7 is not my favorite final fantasy if you watch this channel long enough you know that final fantasy 6 and final fantasy 9 are pretty close tie final fantasy 6 pulls ahead just a little bit but another ridiculous thing that i didn't expect especially i mean I expect it to happen eventually even though they kind of acted like it wouldn't ever happen kind of knew they'd have to do it one day i didn't expect it to be at the c3 so it kind of rattled me up a little bit that they did announce they're doing a remaster for final fantasy 8 you know the one that got left in the dust you know we got the remaster for 7 original version we also got the remaster for final fantasy 9 and they just skipped over 8 and for a little while they were um in interviews and things they're like yeah we're not gonna do that and I was like, wow, come on, I actually kind of like that one. That was a very different Final Fantasy. I understand it came after the hills of Final Fantasy VII. Everybody expected, like, Final Fantasy VII again. Of course it wasn't. Why would it be? Silly people. But anyway, Final Fantasy VIII was a good game. I like the story. I love the world. I like the characters. I thought it was an interesting system with the draw system. I like the missions you go on. I really like that game, and I would really like to play it all the way through again. It's a great game, guys, so I'm pretty excited about that, and, and it definitely, I wasn't expecting to hear that they are going to do that, especially not the C3. So it's looking good. Now, that's a remaster, not a remake, obviously. I, a couple of news outlets are acting like that this is a full remake, like they're doing a Final Fantasy VII. It's not. Final Fantasy VII is a complete remake. And, and back to Final Fantasy VII before I move completely on, I do have to talk about this. I cannot believe that Final Fantasy VII, first of all, you notice it didn't say anything about that it was Episode One. Now, we've been told that Final Fantasy VII is going to be episodic, you know, that, you know. So, here's what I think they're doing here. Because they announced that the game will come out in March, March 3rd, 2020, which is great. But they're saying it's going to be on two Blu-ray discs. Now, Blu-ray discs hold a lot of data. With the multi-layer discs, they can hold 100 to 200, I think, gigabytes. So, wow, okay? And especially, wow, if we're talking about episodic. Now, obviously, they're only showing us things that happen in the first portion of the game, which takes place in Midgard, the, the city that, that Final Fantasy VII starts in. Now, 
they definitely fleshed it out. They've added new things. It's going to be much bigger, much larger. We're going to see new storylines. We're going to see a lot more of the backstory and new missions and all kinds of things in Midgard. And it feels like, I could be wrong, maybe they changed their mind about the episodic thing and, the, and, and that would make more sense for it to be on two Blu-ray discs because they've added even more, et cetera, et cetera. I could see that. But I don't think that's what's happening. I think it's still going to be episodic. I think they're just going to call it like Final Fantasy VII Remake, Final Fantasy VII Remake 2, 3, 4, which is a little silly maybe, but, you know, 7-2, <laughs> you know, like they did with Final Fantasy X maybe. But anyway, this first release that we're getting in March, I have a feeling will end once we leave Midgard so, and go out into the world. Possibly. Maybe not, but we'll see. But, wow, they're going to fit you know, I would assume in the range of 40 to 50 hours of gameplay, simply in Midgard, that's insane. You know, like, you can get through Midgard in a few hours on the original game if you know what you're doing. You know, there's probably people who do it a lot faster than that. But I'm just saying, like, to fit a whole game in Midgard, I mean, we're either going to get a lot of story in there or something's up, you know. But anyway, let's move on to some of the other things they announced. They announced that we've got Crystal Chronicles, a remake from an old GameCube Final Fantasy spin-off game, which is a multiplayer game. You can play it online to come out for the Switch and also for mobile devices. That's a little weird. And I'm okay with you announcing a, a mobile device game at E3 as long as it's also coming to PC, Switch, or, or something. You know, as long as you're not just announcing a mobile game at freaking E3, okay? That's stupid but anyway so if you're a fan of that game uh, i never really got that much into it myself but if you're a fan of that game then there you go you've got that coming then of course we already knew this is not news but octopath traveler which is a really cool throwback game 16-bit era really cool by square Enix. awesome game it was on it's been on switch for a while now it's on steam right now in case you didn't know and in addition to that they also announced that the remaster of the last remnant which was a really cool xbox 360 game back in the day is now available on the switch right now so you can go get that if you're a switch owner also we've got dragon quest builders 2 coming looks great looks like it's a, a a huge update to the original dragon quest builders not a huge fan myself of these minecraft type games but a lot of people swear by it and say that it's so good and so awesome it's still got all the rpg elements and all that kind of thing never given it a shot myself so i'm going to continue moving on kingdom hearts 3 has also got a expansion or dlc coming looks pretty cool whatever moving on and for the last little piece of news and i thought this was pretty cool was that romancing saga 3 is getting its very first actual official debut in north america and that's pretty cool it looks really awesome i've actually i don't i've not beat this game however if i'm not mistaken i know i've played it so there has to have been a fan translation out there or something because I definitely played this game I remember playing it I'm pretty sure I didn't beat it but it would be cool to have that in English there was a lot of games never made it to the West and actually if you watch my video coming up about the Nintendo press conference in my opinion there's something super epic that never came to the West which people loved and, and, and it's just unbelievable this game never came to the west and it's coming but that's not in the square Enix, so it's a different video join me for my nintendo coverage and i'll talk about that but anyway we've got two games actually from this franchise coming which is romancing saga 3 which is that's the 16-bit one you're seeing here looks freaking awesome as well as saga scarlet grace ambitions now these games are coming out for the ps4 the nintendo switch steam xbox one well Actually, Xbox One's only getting Romancing Saga 3. They're not getting the Saga Scarlet Grace Ambitions, at least not this time. So it looks pretty cool. Awesome. That's all I really found that it really looked really interesting to me out of Square Enix's E3 conference. Of course, they covered some other games, mostly not JRPG related or RPG related, so we're going to skip those. And you know what, guys? I thought this was an awesome presentation. You know, we got a lot of details on Final Fantasy VII. We got a release of a game from back in the day. Uh, I believe that was an original PlayStation game, maybe. Pretty sure. Uh, we got the remaster of Final Fantasy VIII coming. 
this was a good conference and it was all done very well. There was a lot of excitement in the air. It felt more real than the Bethesda where everybody's just cheering for absolutely anything. It felt legit and it was a good conference. Now Nintendo really blew it out of the park as well and I'm going to cover that in my next video. I don't know if I have time to do it today. I'm going to try. But until next time guys, I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below what you thought and what you're most excited about out of uh, Square Enix's lineup or if you are at all. Thanks for joining me, and until next time, guys, God bless, and happy gaming. Bingo! Focus on that corner! Oh, now he remembers! Take him down. This is now your Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we gotta move. I've been making videos all day. All the MMOs I play. All the raid bosses I slay. It's a video buffet. You can even hit replay. But please just subscribe. I can't even describe. Be a part of my tribe, I'll even offer you a bribe, but just please don't subscribe, and hit the join button too, cause that's how I get paid, thanks guys.